myself, Dr. Vijay Deora, Associate Professor of Chemistry, Jankadev Bajaj Government Girls College, Kota. Here I am presenting the biosynthesis method, characterization, and various applications of the nanoparticle. The nanoparticle is a very small particle, at least one dimension, its size range in 1 to 100 nanometer. And nanoparticles are widely used in the synthesis of cosmetic, medicines, and agriculture, and many other fields. And the number of metallic ingredients are used in the synthesis of metal nanoparticle is characterized according to monometallic, bimetallic, trimetallic, etc. There are the two approaches the synthesis of nanoparticle. Number one is the top down approach, and second is bottom up approach. In top down approach, bulk material converts into the metal powder and synthesized by nanoparticle. And the bottom up approach, the atoms are changed into the cluster and they form the nanoparticle. And the metal nanoparticle synthesized by the three methods. First one is the physical, but physical method is uh, uh, very uh, harmful and uh, inexpensive route and specific the required st specific instrument, whereas the chemical methods require the energy intensive route and hazardous chemicals. But the biological methods are the environmentally eco-friendly protocol, which are cost effective, and these are the three methods in which we use the microorganisms and plant extract for the synthesis of nanoparticles. And in the microbial synthesis, there are many studies are reported using the synthesis of biometric nanoparticles such as gold and silver using the various microorganisms, bacteria, fungi, and algae are reported with the different size and shape in spherical. Plant extracts are also used in the synthesis of biometric nanoparticles. Various plant extracts such as bay leaves, eucalyptus leaves, azadica, erica, indica, and alpha lipa, etc., our plant extract are used in the synthesis of various biometallic nanoparticles with different size and shape of the particles. Here I am report the synthesis of copper nanoparticle using the green method, in which we use the ajati rakta indica extract, which are added into the copper soil uh, as a drop wise as the process of the time. The color of the dispersion are changes from blue to green and finally change into the brown color and dark brown color, which indicate the formation of the copper nanoparticle. And these synthesized nanoparticles are characterized by the different instrumental techniques such as scanning electron microscope, transmission electron microscope, heat of potential, U visible spectroscopy, and Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy, etc. Here I am before the synthesis of copper nanoparticle and the first this slide shows the color of the copper nanoparticle are changes with the number of intermediate state and finally dark brown color indicates the formation of copper nanoparticle and u visible spectra also confirm the formation of the copper nanoparticle the lambda max as the time passes 0 to 28 hours uh, lambda max are increases at the uh, 560 nanometer, which indicates the formation of the copper nanoparticle. The form nanoparticle are also confirmed by the TAM analysis result, which indicates the uh, synthesized nanoparticle are in the cubical shape with the average size 14 nanometer. And this is also confirmed by scanning uh, surface area electron diffraction pattern. The result indicates the synthesized nanoparticle are highly crystalline. And the uh, biomolecules present in the plant extract uh, in other data indica, such as nimbo, uh, flavinol, trapinoids, and polyphenols, which are uh, reduce, which are act as a reducing agent as well as the capping agent for the formation of the nanoparticle. This Nanopart biomolecules are present in the plant extract are confirmed by the FTI spectra of the nanoparticles. These peaks are indicates the uh, biomolecules are present in the plant extract, which are responsible for the reducing as well as capping.
and the synthesized nanoparticle are used in the uh, degradation of the textile industry effluents. As we know, the textile industry effluents contain large amount of dye chemicals, which may cause the severe water pollution. Here I report the role of synthesized copper nanoparticle in the dye degradation. As we know, there are the many processes available for the removal of dye by the biological, physical, chemical process. But these methods are often very costly and not eco-friendly due to their low efficiency and large amount of solid concentration. The degradation of organic pollutant by sulfate radicals uh, in the advanced oxidation process, which are uh, the sulfate radicals are highly reactive radicals and degrade the organic pollutants into the uh, harmful molecules, which are confirmed by the UV visible spectra. This graph, uh, UV visible spectra shows the degradation of orange. Orange is a model, we choose the model dye for the degradation in the presence of the nanoparticles. The UV visible spectra of the addition mixture of organic G initially consists three main peak, 254, 329, and 476 nanometer. Is the Detection preceded. It was observed that the characteristics observation peak almost disappeared within the 60 minute, which indicates the degradation of chromophore and conjugated rings are uh, degraded in the presence of the nanoparticles. And this graph, where uh, this uh, slide shows the proposed oxidative degradation route for the orange in presence of copper nanoparticle. The proposed degradation route reveals that. Sulfate radicals initially attack on the aromatic ring, leading to the loss of characteristic fragments of the benzene ring, nitrogen oxide, and sulfur dioxide groups, and finally converting to the less harmful products. This has shown the many applications of the metal nanoparticle, which are uh, studied by myself, and such as nanoparticle, copper nanoparticles, silver nanoparticles, and iron nanoparticles which are synthesized by the different uh, uh, green reagents such as ascorbic acid, mainly the extract of the azadirata indica, and they are applied in the degradation of amino acid, degradation of various dye such as methyl orange, edo dye, etc. Now I want to conclude my study. The use of mainly extract for preparation of copper nanoparticle is inexpensive, easily scale up, and environmental benign weight. The plant extract where synthesis can provide the nanoparticle of the contour size with uh, jet morphology. The present biomolecule in plant extract act as a reducing as well as a capping agent. And the result of LCMS analysis indicates the degradation of orange into the harmless product. Thank you.